welcome to The Journey. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to include webinars in your content strategy. When the COVID-19 pandemic started, it wreaked havoc on small business owners. And you've likely been thinking a lot about how to increase your revenue in your online businesses too. And with the continuing uncertainty of the times, it's more important than ever to offer maximum value to your clients while improving your bottom line. And with that in mind, adding webinars to your content strategy might be the next logical addition to your online business. And we wanna share with you everything that we've learned about how to successfully integrate webinars into your sales funnel. Yeah, I mean, for me, webinars has been part of my life for five years. And I gotta say, when the pandemic happened, I didn't know if that interest would maintain the same or increase and definitely have seen it to be very valuable to educate entrepreneurs during this time because small businesses just like yours still need the information and the education that we were providing. So I encourage you to take this time while people are online now more than ever to reach them with this channel, the webinar channel, and definitely record them too because that way if people can't join in live, uh, one thing we do is we send them a copy of that recording if they registered. I love that. And one thing we always like to do with these videos is start off with the why. So why webinars? Well, to start, users love video content. And I'm a huge statistics guy, so let's let's do a stat. According to WordStream, 51% of marketing professionals worldwide name video as the type of content with the best return on investment. They also said viewers retain 95% of a message when they watch it in a video compared to 10% when reading it in text. And that is incredibly powerful. And it's a lot more entertaining to take in a video than it is to read a long blog post mm -hmm. pitching a product. And this is especially true when your audience is getting the chance to learn something new. Absolutely. And another thing, webinars provide value to your customers. People want to solve their problems and good webinars help them achieve some pretty quick wins. And while you don't have to give away all of your secrets, don't do that. Helping your customers with something for free makes them wonder what they would receive by paying you. Yeah, absolutely. And it helps you prove your expertise, prove your chops. Let's let them know that you have what it takes. Imagine having a captive audience to share your knowledge with. That's what a webinar gives you. You have 15 to 45 minutes to dazzle them with how much of a professional you are. And this is critical if you want to turn a prospect into a customer. Why should they give you all of their hard earned cash? Well, a webinar gives them a chance to get to know you, see if they like what you have to offer and hopefully trust you enough to pay you. Another great thing about webinars, high conversion rates for sales. Of the people who sign up for webinars, 46% actually attend according to 99 firms. And Neil Patel says the best webinars can generate conversion rate averages of 19% from the people who watch. So when you're just starting, you might need to host multiple webinars and tweak your message to achieve rock star income. But once you nail your presentation and have a recorded webinar, you could set it up to run on autopilot, resulting in your own personal ATM of continuous income. I'm all about that. But say you're doing webinars, you're about to do webinars. How do you take your webinar from good to great? And I think it starts off with not assuming you know what your customers want or need. And this one is critical. You need to get in the minds of the people you are serving and determine what they want and need. And the fastest way to do this is ask them, then deliver what they ask for. Now, a super popular way to do this is by creating a, what's called an ask campaign. And all it is is sending out a question and a single question. What is your biggest question about blank? And then insert your niche or problem or general subject there and let people tell you what their biggest questions are. And that way you can start to determine what's on their mind, what questions they have, what, what are some of the questions that you can start to answer. Uh, let's also talk about the importance of using intriguing headlines and titles. So after picking a topic to present your webinar on, come up with a title for your presentation that tells your audience why they should care. And keep in mind that punchy headlines capture attention. Yeah, and with, with with webinars, it's really easy to make it overly complicated, but you really wanna keep it simple. It's tempting to create that complicated webinar offering, offering all of your bells and whistles, but resist the urge and focus on just one thing. Stealth Seminar recommends one topic and three supporting topics or subtopics for the best result. So I can take, do a webinar and teach someone how to build a website from start to finish, 
that's a lot of content to kind of focus on. But I can do a webinar on how to create the perfect about page and really focus on that. And the people that watch that webinar will walk away with way more than if I just info dumped a bunch of stuff at them. Yeah, so definitely keep it simple. Also be unique and bring something interesting to the table. Don't just find a similar webinar and recreate what a competitor did. You need to offer something unique to your audience. Remember, these are your potential customers, right? And so what would set you apart? and compel them to register for your webinar. The more interesting you are, the more likely your audience will like you and then buy from you as a result. Yes, I absolutely love that. But now let's talk about what a good webinar sales funnel looks like. So once you have your recorded masterpiece, this is what your next steps should look like for the best chances of making sales for your efforts. Starting off with promoting the webinar with blog posts and podcasts on social media, even on YouTube. Anywhere you can promote it, you want to get as many eyes on it as possible. All your promotions should lead to a webinar registration page that explains what the viewer will get out of the presentation. And bonus, when they register, they will give you their contact information, which you can use in email marketing later on in your customer nurturing journey. Yeah, once someone registers, they should be redirected to a thank you page that includes the date and time of the webinar. And if you're using an automated webinar program, your thank you page could redirect to your website or your webinar link to play the presentation automatically. And this is the part of the webinar sales funnel where you present the webinar. It's the moment you've been waiting for. Now you're the star, your opportunity to wow your audience and give them so much value that they feel compelled to pay you for more. And while presenting your webinar, you'll hit your audience with your offer and you'll address the frequently asked questions as well as any objections to making a purchase. And after the presentation ends, send a follow-up email reminding your attendees of the offer and give them a chance to watch that recording again in case they missed it or they want to see it one more time. And you'll also want to send everyone to your offer page that makes it incredibly clear why your audience needs whatever you're selling. And for anyone that buys, deliver on your promise. For everyone else, start retargeting strategies and attempt to get more sales. That could be uh, emails that you sent out or targeted ads or just extra tips and tricks to get them into your funnel that much further. But then go back one step to step one, rinse and repeat. All right, that's a wrap. I know we covered a lot, but hopefully it showed you that there's potential with using webinars to make more money in your business. So leave us a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And while you're there, ring that bell to get these episodes first. This is the journey. Good luck and happy sales.